let's get to part two of our talk with Leo Lyon Zagami. I have witnessed uh, mostly submission uh, in, in this uh, in this system of power. Yeah, I'm sure you have. Um, submission to people uh, who are obviously very powerful. In England, we have uh, in Freemasonry people like Julian Rees, who is uh, himself uh, one of uh, the uh, editors of Freemasonry Today, one of the people, most important people in Freemasonry Today, which is a leading uh, Masonic uh, paper magazine, which is published in uh, the only Catholic city in, uh, in, uh, in England, which is Barry St. Edmunds. <laughs> Barry St. Edmunds is uh, very, a city I know very well because that's where my grandfather used to live, Harry Lion Young. Uh -huh. And uh, I know Barry St. Edmunds very well. I have part of my family there. It is the most Catholic of Catholic places where to have a Masonic headquarters, but that's the place where they decided to have the headquarters of Freemasonry Today. And you know who is the chief editor of Freemasonry Today? Um, the... No, I don't. Michael Bajan. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yes, okay. I did hear about that. Yeah. Michael Bajan is the chief uh, editor, and so under him there is Julian Rees. Julian Rees was the guy who was my mentor in Kirby Lodge 2818, and uh, we have the, also in our lodge the Marquis of Northampton, which is uh, the number two in English Freemasonry after the Duke of Kent, and uh, uh, the Marquis of Northampton uh, was uh, a member of Kirby Lodge 2818. I can uh, uh, give you some of the members of this distinguished and glorious lodge, as I said, uh, the first member is the uh, most worshipful brother, the most uh, honorable, the Marquis of Northampton, program master of the Mason Soul. And then we have a worship, very worshipful brother, uh, Sharp, who is one of the big, big shots of the York Rite in England, of emulation. Uh, he's also an honorary member of Third Below 2818. We have uh, uh, many uh, interesting names, uh, also members of various banks, like uh, we have uh, uh, the head of UBS, Union de Bank Suisse, Warburg, inside the lodge. We have uh, and others uh, who work uh, who are part uh, of the Bank of England uh, Mafia if we want to call it. That was very important for the P2, to have somebody like me who was in England and who was working for them within the United Grand Lodge of England. For that reason, I was chosen after as being the follow-up for Lisa Jelly, because I had demonstrated that I had been able to be uh, also uh, maintaining and creating a big structure within the United Grand Lodge of England. We also, on the 25th of January uh, 2005, uh, uh, created the, the split group uh, regular Grand Lodge of England with the, another infamous character which is known uh, in the Illuminati as the Duke of Gabinda, Rui Alexander Gabirro. And uh, this uh, character, uh, who is uh, himself very loyal uh, to the Zionist cause, uh, is also the mind controller of uh, Madonna, the singer. Yeah, um, I heard that she's pretty involved. Yes, she actually asked me to open a lodge with her, a uh, free Masonic lodge, uh, when uh, she was with Rui Gabiro. Uh -huh. uh, they invited me, and uh, if I didn't have my wife or there, was their witness, I probably will not uh, have anybody to believe such a claim. But uh, it's true. Uh, Rui Gabiro was in the in the house uh, of Madonna, and called me from there, and uh, they invited me because Madonna was interested in opening her own lodge. Wow, that's mm. that's interesting. I, I'd like to uh, turn to the rituals, if we could. Yes. Um, the question that I have um, most of all is um, what exactly takes place in these Illuminati rituals? Because you hear a lot of things about 
child sacrifice and murders and all did this he, extreme yeah. behavior. Um, what did you personally experience? Basically, uh, it depends uh, what your stomach takes. And you can really go all the way <laughs> when you are in this... Uh, I thought if I make a bit of a joke out of it, but when you talk about it, it's, uh, it's a very serious stuff. I mean, uh, there is uh, people at the high level of, uh, of these societies who are involved even with child sacrifice. So obviously, they don't stop to the animal. You know, you can stop maybe to the sacrifice of a black cat, which is already sourced. You can maybe participate to that uh, you, you, you can participate to the sacrifice of chickens, of a cow of, but sacrificing a, a young child was really what uh, I was trying to oppose uh, within my work within the Illuminati I was trying to make sure that certain practices were stopped especially child sacrifices to the god Moloch uh, so not everybody supported this uh, kind of uh, behavior but unfortunately the people on top the more they are uh, in control of power structures the more they seem to be attracted to this kind of uh, very bounding ritual because when you do a ritual like that uh, you are bounded forever with the people who have done it with you I and see then, and, and, and so you will never betray uh, that uh, those people uh, for life after you participate to such a ritual. Uh, this kind of ritual is open to people who have obviously an inclination to be part of the more esoteric structure of the Illuminati. The Illuminati have themselves a 50% consistent military banking uh, op operative structure uh -huh. and a 50% theoretical structure which is instead involved into mysticism into all kinds of practices with the de demons of all kinds and sacrifices uh, and, 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 and it's uh, in that, uh, in, in, in that uh, way that they uh, control 50-50 there is always a balance you know there is the white and the black uh, in, in, inside the, the, the ch in, in checkboard and in the, in, in the pavement of Freemasonry. Right, you have right. uh, this uh, tendency to enter Freemasonry in an innocent, innocent way. You might go for all the degrees of Freemasonry and never be contacted by an Illuminati group. But if you are inclined to want to know more about certain topics, it's at that point that they contact you they enroll you, they make you participant of the rituals, and slowly they bring you on their side, but always seeing your inclinations. I mean, if you don't like something specifically, you don't have to follow it. There is always somebody else who is willing to go there and do it for you. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure there is. You, are, you understand? It's not... Uh, and, 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 and obviously uh, it's terrible to participate to some of these rituals there is a very high uh, emotional uh, uh, feel there is a mind control to it and there is also consequences if you are a believer because you are uh, you are made to be possessed you understand? You, you, you put yourself in the hands of demons uh, when you are in certain lodges practicing certain rituals. There's nothing, even from not only the child sacrifice ritual, but the smaller rituals that they do uh, that involve maybe sacrifice of minor things compared to a child. But still, they enter in contact with very dangerous entities that uh, make them do things and ruin their lives forever but they are happy uh, with being slaves of this system you understand? Yes, yes especially obviously not everybody has an esoteric nature that's why I have published on my website which is www.illuminaticonfessions.webfriend.it I published on the first chapter of my revelations a specific uh, uh, work, which is unfortunately in Italian, that details very well how secret societies work and are divided in various compartments, 
and that some secret societies, though they work with uh, genius, uh, demonic entities that might press 